we bless your name. We magnify you. We desire to be with you, Father, to sup with you, to eat from your table. Lord God, to walk with you, to run with you, to fly with you. Father, we bless your name, Father God, this morning. Lord, have your way, Father, in our midst. Thank you, Lord God, for your rhema, for rhema. Thank you, Father, for fresh springs. Thank you for restoration as you begin to restore us. Fresh oil in our lamps. Lord God, we thank you, Father, for fresh manna this morning. Father, restore, rebuild. Father, empower. Lord God, encourage, strengthen. Have your bidding in this hour. Lord, I decrease, you increase. According to Luke 4, 18. Where your love, Father, your works is the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because you have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. You have sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. Recovering of sight to the blind. And to set at liberty them that are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint for them all of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. So, Lord, we bless your name, Father. Lord God, we thank you, Father, for every family that's in this sanctuary. Every family watching via online, live stream. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your grace. Wherever this word may travel, minister to us. And Father, we bind every hindering spirit, every demon, every spirit that will cause a roadblock. And we break it down in the name of Jesus and cast it into the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for your grace. Even on this word today, we give you praise. We magnify you, holy, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord God. I decrease, you increase. As we begin to flow, hallelujah, what God will have for us this morning. I believe, I, I, I believe that God, I thank God for the series that the Lord had us do, Double Momentum, yes. Double Identity, how God lasts, we last, I don't know how many Sundays, the Lord had us focus in, in on a double portion identity and how God was uh, identifying his church through, even through a pandemic, God was identifying the church of the living God, amen. And as we begin, I've been, I've been, we've been feasting on that and we're moving on, hallelujah, we're moving on to another series, we're moving on, hallelujah. And I got caught up, God had me go to apocalypse, hallelujah, God designed for us, hallelujah. And God gave me this story, God gave me this phrase, hallelujah, as double momentum as we position ourselves. Even in the midst of this, this is not the first pandemic that, that this that the world have experienced. Amen. Hallelujah. This is this is not the first one. And I, I hopefully <laughs> it will be that, but we don't know what's coming down the pipe. But but God is saying for us, even in the midst of this, the Lord wants to encourage us. Amen. The Lord wants us to continue. And as we began to say last week, regardless of the storm, hallelujah. The Lord says that our oil must flow. He said our fire must burn. Amen. And our light must shine. Hallelujah. And our ready must go. Hallelujah. Amen. Our ready must be on go. Our light must shine. Listen, our oil must flow. Hallelujah. In the midst of it, God said, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always. Abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. How many heard that scripture? I mean, we, we know that at the back of our mind. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 
double momentum, hallelujah. So as we begin, just like a trainer, as a runner, as those that are that are in, uh, that, that's running to stay in shape or exercising, hallelujah, fame, just because things come down the pipe doesn't mean it's going to, it's going to curtail their discipline. Their discipline is still going to be the same, amen, hallelujah. Amen. We're not talking about coming, we're not talking about coming to church in a pandemic. Amen. We're not, let's move that out of the table. We're not talking about not being safe in a, in a pandemic. We're talking about discipline as it relates to our prayer life, as it relates to our word life, as it relates to who God called us to be in the earth. Hallelujah. So the time as we begin to flow, I want you to park your Bibles. Uh, I want you to find, uh, we're going to be, right now, we're going to be in 1 Peter, 1 Peter, the first chapter, 1 Peter 1, 3, verse, verses 3 through 5, 1 Peter, the first chapter, hallelujah, and, and, and I want to, I want to title, we're going to title this message, My Reservation is Ready, somebody say, My Reservation is Ready. My God, my God. My reservation is ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to talk as we begin to flow in this right here. Because our reservation is ready, we're going to liken this as, as, as we're getting ready to catch a plane. Hallelujah. Yeah, we're going to liken this as, 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 as we get ready to go. Uh, we get ready to go for a flight. Amen. Hallelujah. And all of us, we know that reservation had to be made, hallelujah, before we just show up at the airport and go to the ticket counter. How many of us are uh, Do you have what? Reservation. Hallelujah, reservation. But as we go, I, I, I'm going to pattern this because my reservation is ready. What we're going to look at is how to confirm my reservation. Somebody say, how to confirm. My reservation. Hallelujah. And as God began to show, show us, we see here that Jesus Christ, hallelujah, heaven has announced, has announced our name. Heaven has reserved our seat. Hallelujah. See, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus is a man that was sent to the earth, hallelujah, born of a virgin Mary. Had to suffer under Pontius Pilate, hallelujah, in Rome. Had to be crucified. Had to die and to be buried. Hallelujah. He paid for our seats, hallelujah, with his blood. And after his resurrection, he announced our name, hallelujah. Our name was placed on the reservation, you remember, hallelujah. So not only we have a seat on the plane, hallelujah, hallelujah, the seat, hallelujah, has our name on it. Somebody say, say somebody say, God has announced my name. God come on, y'all, come on. Hallelujah, God has announced my name. Double momentum, he has already made my reservation. My reservations are ready. Oh, it's already here. And God has identified us. God said, I know who you are. I've identified you. You're my children. I have already uncovered your identity. Listen, I've already revealed your purpose in the earth. It's already known. And God says, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is saying to us, hallelujah. God is sending a clarion call to his sons and his daughters this hour. To confirm our reservations, hallelujah, with him. Get ready to fly with him, hallelujah. How many of us are ready to fly with him? Come on, come on. Thank you, Lord. Now, some of, us, some of our Baptist folks, some of the folks, a lot of the Baptist folks, some of us say, oh, I'm ready. I've been going to go. I'm ready. I'm ready for the rapture. I'm ready to roll. And God is not talking about the rapture. Hallelujah. God is talking about to fly in the midst of a famine. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. To make to fly in the midst of a, of a pandemic. Hallelujah. 
to move in spite of sickness and disease. Hallelujah. God is saying for us, hallelujah. God is looking at us. God is saying, hallelujah, there is a place, hallelujah, on the plane yes, for you, hallelujah. hallelujah. As we begin to look at this thing, hallelujah, God is sending a clarion call. It's a reason why God said, be steadfast. Unmovable. Why? Because there's something that's trying to move us. You and I. There's something that's trying to stop you. You stop the steadfastness of what God's trying to do in the earth. There's something that's trying to stop the abounding of what God is trying to do in the earth. So as we move forward, hallelujah. Hallelujah. My reservation is ready. Hallelujah. My mind is fixed. Listen, listen, God, and I'm not going to miss my flight. Hallelujah. You and me. That's why Jesus says, listen, don't miss the time of your visitation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My word doesn't change because different things come on the scene. Hallelujah. I'm the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, yes. Holy Spirit of the living God. Yes. So as we look at this, hallelujah, my reservation is ready, hallelujah. Let's look at how, we go, how, how are we going to, how are we going to accomplish this in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. The purpose, if we're going to confirm, we're going to find out how to confirm my reservation. We're going to put this basic and simple, amen. If my reservation is ready, and we're going to extract five truths, Five truths from the Word of God using 1 Peter 1, 3 through 5. Hallelujah. Five truths on how to confirm my reservation in the name of Jesus. And the goal is that we might receive the benefit of living the abundant life that Jesus, hallelujah, that Jesus has appointed and ordained for us to live in the right now, hallelujah. In the midst of this thing, hallelujah. It's a reason why Romans 8 says it this way. He said, the, the suffering shall not compare to the glory that shall be revealed in you, hallelujah. Amen. It's a reason why God compared the way that we are going to be identified is through suffering. It's through the affliction. It's through the trials of life that want a person uh, those that are the own, the own lookers, the spectators, begin to recognize it and see and reveal and see the manifestations of the sons of God. Hallelujah. So as we begin to look, what is God saying? I'm going to read. We got an Amplified version here. Uh, we're going to read right now. First Peter. Hallelujah. First Peter. We're going to read First Peter. One, and I'm going to read verses three through five. I'm reading from the Amplified version, Amplified Bible, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And it goes like it said, First Peter one three through five. It said, "Praise, honor, and bless be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. By His boundless mercy." We have been born again to an ever-living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, born anew, and to an inheritance which is beyond the reach of change and decay, imperishable, unsullied, and unfading, reserved in heaven for you, who are being guarded, listen, garrisoned by God's power through your faith till you fully inherit that final salvation that is ready to be revealed for you in the last time. Hallelujah. And as we begin to look, hallelujah, as we begin to look at this, huh, and some, some folks will take this, uh, take this word in faith of, I'm going on to be with Jesus, amen, and God is not, as we begin to study, to show ourselves approved, God is not talking about being taken up into glory. 
God is talking about a present, listen, a present, a present time that we live in right now. How do I, how do, we talk about my reservation is ready. How do, how do I confirm my reservation, my seat with my Savior? Hallelujah. The first thing that God says in 1 Peter, hallelujah, it says we have been born again. Somebody say born again. Born again. Hallelujah. Born again. Hallelujah. See, Jesus, hallelujah, as we begin to look at this thing holy, and we begin to sing that last song, holy, come from the Greek word hagios, and it means to be set apart. It goes all the way back to Genesis 1, when God said, I made man in my image and after my likeness, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And listen, because I'm holy, you are holy. I've called you to be set apart. Hallelujah. I've called you to be in my image. I've created you in my image. And after my likeness, you came from daddy. You came from Abba God. Amen. Hallelujah. So God began to, God had to come after the sin and fall of man for us to come back again, to be born again. Somebody say born again. again. See, our spirit man, hallelujah, we were connected to God from the beginning when God breathed into man the breath of life. But after sin, the spirit man died. That's why the word says to be born again. Hallelujah. Somebody say born again. As, as we begin to look at it first, I need to qualify. Listen, listen, listen. I, are you born again? Hallelujah. That word means to produce again. Hallelujah. It means to beget again. Hallelujah. Born again. Born from on high. It's my spirit man. As Nicodemus asked Jesus, how can a man enter his mother's womb again. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, uh, Jesus said, aren't you a teacher? Did you? No, we're talking about the spirit man. Unless a man be born of the spirit of God. Hallelujah. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. God is regening. Hallelujah. My reservation God is saying to us, hallelujah, God is saying, I desire to be, listen, to be conformed to the will of God, hallelujah. hallelujah. To become in a oneness hallelujah. with our Father. To come back to Daddy, Rabbi Kishé, my inner man, hallelujah. Thank this you. is the part that leaves, listen, that leaves the body at death. This is the one that after, after he said, let this thing return back to God who created him. So God is saying to us, Romans says it this way, how do, how do I confirm my reservation? There's no other name given under the heavens whereby men can be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. He's the only man that paid our price on Calvary. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Yes. So God made it very easy. That whosoever call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be what? Saved. Saved. Thank you, Lord. God said, you don't have to be a scholar. You don't have to go listen. You don't have to be dissected and exegetes and, you know, and, and all this other great. Uh, just call on the name of Jesus. Yes. It's, not hard. it's not complex. Yes. Whosoever. Just fall on my knees and Lord, save me. Lord Jesus. Doesn't matter where we came from, what we've done. Doesn't matter what our background is. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord said, I have made a reservation for you. 
Your reservation is ready. My blood paid for your seats. Uh, Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. The reservation has your name on it. Come on, God, follow me, follow me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's number one. Hallelujah. And then God began to say to us, Hallelujah. He began to say to us, number two, how can I confirm this? Hallelujah. God began to say to us, even through this scripture, God began to say to us, he, what he's doing for us, and he's doing for us, he wants us to anticipate and to welcome, listen, to be conformed to his sure and his certain identity, his image, which give us all the capacity to know his eternal life. This is a place, hallelujah, we've been born again to a living hope. Somebody say living hope. Living hope. That's what the scripture says. It, it means, it's, it's this word in the Greek, it means, it means an image which gives us the capacity to know eternal life. See, our ticket has our name, hallelujah. It's not the name that mom and dad gave us at birth. It's not John, I mean, oh, you're going to be a John today. It's not that. It's not, it's, not, it's not the name that our parents gave us. It's the name that our Heavenly Father gave us. Hallelujah. He said, I made man after my image, meaning we look like God. And after my likeness, we have the ability to function like God. Huh? We have purpose. We have an assignment. We have a role to play. And only the second one, hallelujah, we're born again to a living hope. We have capacity. And we have to be willing, somebody say willing, willing. to conform to his image. Simple, simple. See, when we're born again, I surrender my life to him. And then I have to be willing to be disciple, Lord. My reservation. I have to be willing to come closer to him. Hallelujah. I have to be willing to get to know him. Hallelujah. To anticipate, to welcome, to conform and to his sure identity. God is not confused. Thank you, Lord. See, because even our parents before a child come, normally the husband and wife, normally they kind of figure out a name already before the, born, the baby is born. In rare cases, a baby is born and, and there's no name for the baby. Amen. But most of the time, hallelujah, most of the time the name is already uh, arranged. But God is saying to us now, if, I, if earthly parents can come together, hallelujah, and give us a name. Jesus, Jesus. Surely our heavenly Father, Hallelujah. Have, God said it to Jeremiah before you were in your mother's womb. Oh, I, you. I already knew you, mm -hmm. yeah. and I ordained you a prophet to the nation. This thing I didn't just pop off and let me figure this thing out. No, it's already settled in heaven. Hallelujah. My God, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank God. How, how do I confirm it? I just trust, I trust God that he's going to, listen, I'm going to get to the place where I recognize hallelujah, my identity. Let's move forward. Hallelujah. Yes. I anticipate, I welcome him. There's an expectation. Hallelujah. So when I get ready, when I find out the reservations are made for me, what do I do? What do I do? What, what do we do? Hallelujah, when we get ready to travel. Hallelujah, when we find out that we got reservation and they say, this thing is ready. We tell them about it. We tell about it's ready right now. Meaning that the plane is about to what? Go. I check in. Hey, we look at this thing about to go. You ain't, we don't have a whole week for you to go in and confirm it because the plane probably going to be gone by then. So I start making my way to go where? To the airport, hallelujah. Yeah, to check in. 
I, I make my way to get to know him. Because on the plan, Jesus is the plan. Somebody say, Jesus is the plan. Jesus is the plan. I had on my notes that Jesus was waiting on the plane uh, with, you know, waiting for us to have a seat with him. We're co-laboring with him. But the Holy Spirit corrected me while I was worshiping. He said, no, Je Jesus is not on the plane. Uh, Jesus is the plane. My God, my God. How many catch that? Hallelujah. Isaiah 40. Lord said, Lord said, I'm not getting on there with you, baby. I am the plane, but I have a seat, Hallelujah, for you. My God, my God. I'm why? Because I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I'm going to fly in that place where Jesus said, Hallelujah. I've seated you in heaven and places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. My reservation is ready. Hallelujah. So God said, begin to move in my direction. Begin to come on up there. Come on up to the airport. Hallelujah. Begin by faith to move forward in Jesus' name. Uh, Colossians 2 says it this way. He says, as you have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, walk, regulate your lives, and conduct yourself in union with him and conformity to him. Having the roots of your being firmly and deeply planted in him, fixed and founded in him, being continually built up in him, becoming increasingly more confirmed, established in the faith, just as you were taught and abounding and overflowing in it with thanksgiving. Why? I'm on my way to the what? Airport, you with me? Now there are things that gonna come up. That's why God said, "Be grounded and rooted in the faith." Amen. That's Lord God. Yes. My faith said, I, "My reservations are made." I'm just saying, if I'm going to Chicago, I'm going to Chicago. I put, put the flight is that uh, my reservations made. So guess what? Because my reservations are made. There may be a whole bunch of folks on the side of the road holding about many of them, and if I'm late, they might be holding. Could you feed the homeless? Could you? I need you to go take me to uh, to uh, this street. Can you, can you give me a lift, brother? Can you give me a lift? Traffic jam. What's up? Look at here, baby. Look at my plane is about to go up. Take off, and think somebody else gonna have to get you, baby. Because I am focused. There are many distractions. There are many bombs, there are many claymore mines on the road to the airport. That's why God said, my way, the way of the Lord is straight. Narrow is the way. Wide is the way that leads to what? Destruction. And many, there be, go into that place of destruction because they lose sight of the airport. Y'all with me? Somebody say, I got reservation. I mean, 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 when I get back from Chicago, but I have read the what? Hallelujah. I got to confirm my reservation. I got to show up at the ticket counter. Amen. Hallelujah. God get that. Go ahead. My reservation is ready. Yes. Yes. So I, I become rooted. I become grounded. I become deeply planted in him continually built up in him, yes, Lord, becoming yeah. increasingly more confirmed and established in the faith. My faith is being tested. As I continue to go to the airport, hallelujah, I got to stay focused, hallelujah. Yes, I got to continue to move while Jesus made reservation for my life. I, I, I cannot afford what doesn't profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul. I'm sorry, man. I got a seat. That thing too expensive. And I'm not going to go back and pay for another ticket. My God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's, let's push forward. Let's push forward. 
Hallelujah. Let's see, how do I confirm? Number, number, number three. The second one, one is to anticipate, to welcome, to conform. It means to, to press forward. I may have to find me a good shepherd. I have to find a church. I need to find a place where I can continue to move forward. Number three. Hallelujah. Let's look at the scripture. What does God say? As he say here. Hallelujah. What does God say in his word as he began to press forward here? God says, being born again to an everlasting hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And then he goes on to say, into an inheritance which is beyond the reach of change and decay, imperishable. Listen, reserve. Somebody say reserve. reserve. See, what God is saying, hallelujah, there is a lot, hallelujah. This inheritance, when we, when we get to number three, accept my inheritance. Listen this right here. Listen, that ain't word inheritance. It means it's clarinomia, the Greek word, but it means my lot, my portion, my airship. It's what God selects. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's awarded divine lot. This is what God, God's portion is his assignment. Listen, so God, see, we can't run it together. Listen, because I, listen, I, he did all of that to bring us to and what? Inheritance. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. See, when a man, a son died, a father, a father died, and he leaves him for his son, either money or land or whatever, but God, Jesus raised himself from the dead, and Jesus said, said it like this, I have, you are a joint heir now. I have an assignment. Yes. As a son yes. of the living God, as a daughter yes. of God, hallelujah. Listen, I got to go, but you're going to take care of the house mm, for me, hallelujah. My yes. sons and my daughters going to continue to take care of business uh, while I'm away in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, my God, my God, my God. Yes. And inherent is it a watered divine lot. I, I believe Psalm 26. Uh, I believe it says it this way. It said, the Lord is my portion in the land of the what? Living. Living. He's been good to me. He's, he's my portion. See, 73 is accept my inheritance. And this is before even God comes to reveal it to reveal your inheritance to you. He got to know that whatever I say to you, you are going to exercise that portion. You're going to be a joint heir with me. Hallelujah. See, as we begin to look at this portion, everybody may not like the manner. Are you with me? Because the children of Israel, they, they begin to eat, some of them begin to eat the manner. They said, look here. Look, take us back to Egypt and let us get the leeks and the steaks and the fish in them, man. Look at baby, look at I'm tired of the matter. But God, listen, all of us are wired differently and we fit. Some of us are arm in the body. Some are legs in the body of Jesus Christ. Some carry the body with their feet, their five masters. Some are in the headship. They, 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 they can hear. Some can see. Hallelujah. All of us are needed being a part of the human body. And we cannot despise our portion when God said, I created you to be, you know, I've been created you to be an ear. And the ear look at you and say, listen, baby, look at, I want to be a nose. I don't want to function the way you, I'm tired of it. I mean, look at it. And Jeremiah, Jeremiah was one of the prophets that God told him, Listen, I'm going to send you to a stubborn people, a stiff-necked generation. Hallelujah. And, and what, what's going to happen is they're going to come up against you. Uh -huh. But God didn't tell them, tell Jeremiah how they will come up against you. Uh -huh. And God didn't tell Jeremiah either that Jeremiah thought that he, everybody going to repent and uh -huh. come by God. And, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and 
Jeremiah, Jeremiah got discouraged because he began to preach the word of God and nobody believed that the Babylonians were to come and take the land. So Jeremiah, could, he didn't get it. Nobody's listening. And then it was too late. Because God had already passed judgment now. Yes. And then they put Jeremiah into the dungeon. None of this on my note, but God is coming up. Yes, and Jeremiah began to complain. Mm. And then he had an oopa moment. He said, Every time I was in the dungeon, God came and got me out. Yes. Yes. But then he said, Oh, the Lord is my portion yes. in the land of the what? God is good. He's been good to me. Hallelujah. See, my portion may not be, you know, pit houses and, and, and BMWs and running around and, oh, praise God, glory. Everything is right. Go away, man. The portion is not necessarily all fun. You know, this thing where it's showing up, prepare yourself. God is saying, hey, this is your manner. This is how you fit. You might not necessarily like everything that's on the plate. You like the steak, you like the macaroni and cheese, but you, you, you turn your nose up on the broccoli, but all of it's good for you. The salad is good too. You may not like it, but it's good for your body. I created you and I know what's good for you. And so we have to, that, as we begin to look, he brought us into an inheritance. Yeah. He brought us into our lot, our assigned lot. He brought us into our airship. We are joint heir with Jesus Christ. We're not by ourselves carrying this thing out. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God awards this thing. But we must be willing to bear witness to what heaven has announced over our life. Hallelujah. Whatever the Lord says, what he announced, I will bear witness to it. Job found that out. He didn't know what God announced over his life. But he was bearing witness and he found out later. He said, I know that I'm a righteous man. I don't understand why I'm going through A, B, C, and D. But I know that I'm a righteous man. I don't care what y'all say. Oh, y'all can make up all that. Listen, I know. Listen, baby. Hey, I don't understand why I'm going through the mess I'm going through. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. But then he found out that God had announced it. Something over his life. Yes. All right, say, nigga, you try. Go ahead and try. I guarantee you that boy, that boy ain't going to bear witness of who I am. I can hear Job say, I wish I would have been in on the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I, I, maybe I would have got through it a little better. My God, my God. Come on, God won't tell us everything. How many of us know, God? Yes, God is not going to tell. But he said, I simply want you to bear witness. See, there are places that God began to assign us. And God said, I just need you to be a witness in the midst of darkness. I need you to be light in the midst of darkness. I need you to be joy in the midst of sorrow. I need you to be, be what I, whatever I desire for you to be in that moment. Yes, Lord. To encourage my God. My God. somebody else. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. So, so the third moment, what, what is it? How to confirm? I just said accept, be willing to accept my inheritance. Mm. What you created me to be, God, hey. My God. Don't fight. Don't kick against the person. Somebody say, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Whatever God say, it is what it is. It's good, though, God. We know that God is what? Good. Whatever God assigns, hallelujah. God is good. This is what he said. It could have a shit. And it's reserved. God said this, this thing is reserved in the heavens. It means, the word even preserve means that it's a spiritual guard that keeps this thing intact. Your assignment, your divine lot 
It didn't get mis messed up in history. Uh -huh. God is guarding over. That's why God says, let my will pray like this. Father, your will be done where? Yeah. On earth as it is where? In heaven. See, it's already in heaven preserved. God is saying, I want to open the gate. I want to open the door to my will. You are my will. You are my created being. I created you. Honey. You showed up. Mama and daddy gave you a name. But the rest is that they don't even know the whole story. Yeah. The truth, the, 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 what is it? The, the whole truth hadn't even been told about you. Mm, mm, mm. My God, my God. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. The whole truth hadn't even been told of who you are in the name of Jesus. How, how do I confirm? It's, it's getting good. How do I confirm? How, how, how do I confirm this thing as we begin to move forward? How, and then God began to say to us, right here, he says, and to inheritance, which is beyond the reach of change and uh, decay. Listen, it goes down. Who are being guarded or garrisoned by God's power through your faith, hallelujah, till you fully inherit that final salvation, hallelujah. Now, I'm going to break this down to what, what, what God is saying. This fourth one, hallelujah. Somebody say, somebody say it like this right here. Somebody say, welcome his power. Hallelujah. The fourth one, how do I confirm my reservation, my seat? When, listen, how do I get on the plane? I have to welcome his power. Oh, Jesus. It means, means that, that word right here, when it says, says here, when God is guarding, listen, mm, mm, mm. we are being guarded. Hallelujah. The word means, means to guard, keep watch wow. like a military sentinel. Listen, to actively display whatever defensive and offensive means are necessary come on, come on. to guard. Come what on. does that mean? Come on. Come it means that as we make our approach to the airport, hey, see, we, we talked about our own selves being distracted. Hey, but this don't have nothing to do with our own selves. Hey, this had to do with enemy combatants. Hey, and God is saying, you need my power hey, to get to the airport. You will never get to your assignment because this thing is war. By yourself. Jesus, come on. God said, listen, God said the kingdom of heaven suffered what? Violence. But the violent man he had to do what? Take it by what? Take it by force. See, heaven trying to invade earth. But the devil, how to, this type of power, God said, you need the power. I, we have to guard you. My God. This thing right here is that we are being guarded. It's a power that's defensive and offensive. Whatever means necessary to preserve your assignment, how to, as you begin to move to the airport. My God. Hallelujah. I want to go a little deeper in this being guarded, the Greek. It means to guard, protect. But it's a compound word. It means to be a watcher in advance. Listen. To be a watcher in advance. To mount guard as a sentinel. Listen, to post spies at the gates. To post spies at the gates. Hallelujah. See, so this thing go good. Y'all on your way to the airport. The signal, the power can see far ahead of your route to the airport. And what happens is the signal, how they can watch and they begin to guard and they will alert you as it relates to enemy forces that will stop your press to the airport. Hallelujah. God said you being God. This thing is so, this thing is so, so crazy. And we see it time and time again as people begin to get closer in their walk of discipleship. Are they move towards, towards the airport, ready for takeoff? We see how the enemy tries to proclaim our mind. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. And that's why God is saying a believer needs the power, dunamis, that word power. Mean dynamite. Hallelujah. 
It is, it is an army, hallelujah. This is not one situation, hallelujah. This, this, is, a, this, is, a, this is many. Somebody say many. Many. Hallelujah. Many, hallelujah. I like it here. It says uh, spies, plural, at the gate. Listen, listen. God said principalities and power. Listen, God began to put cherubim and seraphim to escort you. How fighter escorts to get you how to the airport. I started thinking about the presidential detail. Hallelujah. When he's trying to travel somewhere and they have, he's sitting in a car, but they got a motorcade in front. And a fake one. They got yeah, fake ones in front. They got somebody in the back. And then they have snipers on building on the side, hallelujah. Yes, Throughout the whole route, yes. Yes. even when he comes up here, when he comes here, everybody had to wrap up mm -hmm. and get a detail together. Why? Oh, the president is on his way. Mm -hmm. And God said, I've called you to be you an ambassador. You are my son. He's and think not that it is. <laughs> listen, yeah. for your assignment to come forward, listen. I am at the sign angelic powers. Mm. Hallelujah. To stop the enemy from impeding your life. Uh, you are under attack. And God is saying, Welcome the power. Somebody say, Welcome the power. Welcome the power. He put up like shit. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. No, baby, you need it. Somebody say, You need it. You won't make it. That's why when people come into salvation, Immediately, they need to be introduced to the power. We need the power. I need the power. Because if you delay it, it's just a matter of time. They, they, they kind of move forward. They all the I didn't understand. I'm trying to get the sight. All this stuff stopped coming. You need the power. Some of us, I need the power. need the power. My God. We talk about how to confirm my reservation. I need the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, That's why Jesus said, don't go. You can't go anywhere. Listen. Come on, you preacher. Listen, right. after the Holy Spirit come upon you, then, then you shall be witnesses unto me. You can't even get to me. You have access, but on your way, hallelujah. On your way, it goes up by shape. See what God would do. God would, this type of power will reveal, hallelujah. It will reveal those things that are passive and active. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, it, it let you know how to defend yourself and how to up, how to go on the offense. Hallelujah. Yeah. Some cases, you're gonna have to go ahead and take some stuff out of here. You with me? Come on. Make faith for the word up there. That's a signal up there. Wait a Jesus, I'm not getting here. Why did I go through this? Huh? And then so God said, you don't, you don't take that out. Just, you just need to go another direction. Uh -huh. Slide over here. Uh -huh. Just ignore that. <laughs> hey, don't go, don't go run into the battle right now. I didn't need you to take another route. Go, go around this. How did you know, Pastor? Well, God, God, if we open ourselves up to the power of God, hallelujah, and get on our knees and cry out, say, Lord, I need your power. Yeah. Lord, you told the disciple, go into the mountain and wait for the power from on high. Father, baptize me in the Holy Spirit. Supernatural power from on high. Father, welcome him in all of his fullness. And God will begin to show you the different things. I cannot, I cannot, if I begin to go into, I cannot tell you how many times the Lord will reveal to us as we begin to travel. The different foxes, the different things, enemy troops. We have foxes, birds, hallelujah, dogs. and dogs, hallelujah. Wolves, wolves. They are both there. So it's like it's like all kind of stuff. Snakes. God, Jesus said, foxes have holes. The birds of the air have what nests, mm. but the Son of Man had no place to lay his head. Mm. Dogs may come, hallelujah. Those are the flesh. Wolves may come. Foxes may come. Snakes may come. But the Lord said, I've given you power to trample serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm you. Hallelujah. I'm equipping you to get to the airport. Yo, 
Glory, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. I'm pushing forward, I'm pushing forward. My reservation is ready. The first thing God said, hallelujah, to confirm my reservation is first, hallelujah, be born again. Listen, be born again. The second one, what did we say, hallelujah? God said to anticipate, welcome disciples here. Welcome to be conformed at this image. Welcome, listen, coming closer to him. Hallelujah. The third thing God says, accept my inheritance, my lot. When I reveal it to you, hallelujah, your portion, don't despise it. Hallelujah. And the fourth thing is to receive my power. I welcome the power to get you to the airport. Hallelujah. The last but not least, as we begin to move forward. Hallelujah. How do I confirm my reservation? The word says, till you fully inherit that final salvation that is ready to be what? Revealed for you in the last time. Listen, as God, listen, on my way to the airport, to my sure hope. To my sure reservation, hallelujah. And I begin, listen, I have an apocalypto, a revelation. The invisible or unknown has to become known. Well, that's what we're talking about. Listen, the fifth, the fifth thing to confirm. Information that's confirmed, that confirm my identity when I get to the ticket counter. Listen, see, listen, by faith, as I move to the to the airport, hallelujah. By faith, how do I confirm? I receive a apocalypsis, you with that word. God, God said this water made it to what? The airport. The first thing that the ticket uh, counter, the person at the ticket counter is gonna say to you is show me your what? ID. Thank you. Show me your identification. Cause, it, your, Cause your ID must match What's on the reservation? You and I. Right. But the only way you can show the ticket man or woman your ID, your ID has to be given to you. My God. My God. On your way to the ticket counter by faith. You say, Lord, I know it's in a sure place. Lord, I don't have no ID on it, but Lord, by faith. Jesus, mama called me John. I'm on my way. And then all of a sudden, you have an apocalyptic moment. And what does that word revelation, what is God saying? What does that mean? And that word revelation, it means, it means to uncover, to reveal what is hidden, especially its inner makeup, out of your inner man. To make plain, somebody say manifest. manifest. Particularly what is immaterial or what's invisible. <laughs> God began to look at your inner man and say, your inner man, hallelujah. God said, I'm getting ready to open the door to your inner man. Manifest. You get ready to find out who I created you I to be. It. Hallelujah. It. The truth hadn't been told yet. Mama and daddy taught you their moral. Then you went to school. You had a, listen, you got a degree. You moved in your vocation. But God is saying, I have a vocation for you, son. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. My words to you is going to tell you who you are, son. I'm going to tell you your name, your identity. Listen, your purpose. So when you get to the ticket counter, when they ask you, I need to see your identity. Listen, you get ready to pull out what I've given you, Hallelujah. You get ready to pull out the apocalypse, Yahweh. Well, Pastor, what are we talking about? I thought we were talking about revelation. I thought we were talking about, you know, the apocalypse. They told us. And God is saying the apocalypse I've been talking about. You are the apocalypse. You are the apocalypse. Tell myself, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Come on. Jesus. What Diana Ross said, I'm coming what? I'm coming. I want the world to know. And I'm going to let it show I'm coming what? Out. Oh, she was preaching. She was preaching. Oh, That's her apocalypse. 
live. God said, I am. He wanted to say, somebody say, I am the apocalypse. Am oh, the Jesus, so powerful. I am the uncovering. Listen, I am the invisible becoming visible. You in there? You didn't know it, but I, listen, I guess you that you're going to find out. You are being introduced Woo! to the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God, my God. My Lord. Mm. Apocalypse. You're going to have an apocalyptic moment. And hallelujah. So let's stand. And God, God stand to your feet right now as God begins with, as we summarize this thing. God is saying to us, hallelujah, at an appointed time. Listen, there's an opportunity at an opportune time. God, at your Kairos moment, the apocalypse happens. Hallelujah. It's a place where heaven lines up with earth. It's a place where heaven has announced over your life. I don't care. But Pastor, I don't think God had nothing. Not only the fact that you got a fingerprint that's different from every person on the face of this earth, meaning that God, God said, You are not a mistake. I don't care what they've done, what they said. What you are doing, listen, listen, you are missing your behavior. Yes. And I've called you for such a time yes. as this. Yes. My God. Everyone that misbehaves, that, that's their behavior, they're missing their behavior. My God, my God, my God. They don't know who they are. My God. Apocalypse. But Lord said, by faith, they need to continue to move. I know you don't know. Listen, I know you don't have your ID yet. But when, baby, when you get to the airport, now we don't know how long. Some people's airports are shorter. Time for them to get there is shorter than others. As a teacher, God, that you can't put a time limit on it. You don't know. When I'm gonna have my apocalypse in that person. They can have their apocalypse in five minutes after they left the house. One minute after they leave the house, even Paul had his apocalypse immediately after he received Jesus Christ. It was revealed to him his assignment, his inheritance. But yet it is a journey. Somebody say it's a journey. As we begin to move. We don't know when it's going to happen, how, to, how far we have to go, how to, but it is a sure thing that Jesus was nailed in a sure place. Our inheritance is sure. Uh, and God began to say to us, to fully inherit your living seat, you must take some steps by faith to get to the airport to get to the ticket counter to show your identification as you bear witness of what heaven has announced over your life so I can confirm my seat. Listen, so I can get on the plane for my reserved life, my assignment with Jesus Christ. Raise your hand. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for confirming as we begin to move with double momentum to the ticket counter. We know, Father, you have all things. You make all things new. There's some kind of way on our way. You begin to reveal to us who you created us to be. So, Lord, have your way, Father, in us today. Have your way, every child, every a teenager, every person. Every person that feels like they may be a misfit. Something happened. I don't know why this is happening. Why I'm doing what I'm doing. But God is saying, I'm identifying you. Come, come, son, come. Oh my God. I created you oh my God. in this season. For such a time as this, you have something to offer my son. Lord said, don't turn your back on me. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Doesn't matter what it looks like. So, Father, we thank you, Father, for the apocalypse. Thank you, Father, for the uncovering. 
We thank you, Father, for manifesting yourself right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, man. Perhaps if you haven't received Jesus, or maybe you got off track. Maybe you're backslider. Things that happened in, in this life, and it, it, it seems as though you lost your mind. Maybe lost marriage, divorce, unforeseen circumstances, came your way, sickness, disease, and somehow you lost your way. The Lord is saying today is the day of salvation. It is never too late. Never give up. As long as you're breathing, the Lord is saying, come. Come to me. Come. Come on up to the airport. Come. Because we're already going for a ride. We are going for a flight. This is your season. This is your day. right now, those who do not know Jesus, repeat after me. Say, Father God, I come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Lord, save me. Lord, I save my life. I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead for me. Take me in unto your household. Clean me and make me whole. And Father, we thank you right now, Father God, for groom me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Thank you, Lord God, that your house, that you are saved right now in this moment. You are saved. The blood of Jesus cover your house in Jesus' name. Never turn back. Never get discouraged when you feel like you're a failure. Just get back up. Get back up. Get back up. Continue your journey to the airport. The Lord said, I will meet you at your point of need. Wherever you are, I will meet you. Because I've made reservation for you. And your seat is reserved in my house. On my plane. In my company. Come. Father, we pray, Father, right now.